Okay, so my nemesis decided to show up early this year and that nemesis is flea beetles. So you can see some of the flea beetle damage here. It looks like kind of pitting in the leaves themselves and these are semi-adult plants. However, a lot of damage can be seen on my radish cotyledons. So again, this pitting, they actually took out an entire row before I jumped in and did something. Now that we know how to identify what this damage does, how the heck do we prevent it and how do we protect against it when we're in the midst of a flea beetle infection? Well, flea beetles in particular really like brassicas. So things like radishes, cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower are all top of mind for these guys. Once these plants are adults, however, they tend to back off. They just like those seedlings, in particular the cotyledons and the first few true leaves. So if you're preemptive and you know you're planting these seeds or these seedlings outdoors, you could technically just cover the crop. However, these are a soil borne issue, meaning if you cover you still may get them if they're already in your soil. So if you had them last year, the covering this year likely is not gonna work. Once you're in an active infestation, there are some things you can do. So the first thing I like to do is actually use a capsaicin spray. Now the spray I used was capsaicin, mint, or wintergreen specifically, and then blood meal and a couple other doodads. Now this is meant to deter rabbits and it's meant to deter uh, deer, but it works wonderfully with flea beetles as well. It's very smelly. The next step was actually to dust it with diatomaceous earth. Now diatomaceous earth affects the bugs. The other option is actually zeolite powder. Zeolite coats the leaves and makes them less than palatable for the flea beetles themselves. So that's option number two. Or you can use them in conjunction with the capsaicin spray, which is what I do. Now, the problem with these two methods is that it does need to be reapplied every time you water. So if it gets washed off the leaves, and I'll show you what mine look, look like right now. So you can see the leaves are lightly dusted still. They kind of have a white film. This is still okay. When we notice that this white film has disappeared, we do need to reapply. Then your next option would actually be to overseed. So a number of studies have been done on flea beetles because they are an agricultural nuisance as well. So if you know someone that is doing canola, for example, or mustard, they will also have issues with flea beetles. Now what they find to be the solution because spraying is expensive to run equipment on is actually overseeding your brassicae species by 30% because the pests themselves only damage around 30% of the entire crop. So if you wanted 10 plants, you would seed 13 on a, a really miniature scale. That is option number three, I guess you could go with. And I have done that in the past. And in this case, what I did with my radishes and what I do every year with my radishes is overseed them because that is one plant that germinates really readily. Flea beetles love, but if you overseed, you can just remove if necessary or the flea beetles will take care of the rest. Next thing to do would actually be wait to seed. These bugs only last in the very early spring season and they very quickly run out of life choices and they die off. So if you could wait till early June or mid June to actually plant your brassicae species, in particular radish, then you're made in the shade. You can avoid them altogether. Now, if you're in a warmer climate, this may not be possible for you. And the reason for that is because these plants, brassicas, like to bolt and they bolt easily. Meaning if you suffer from heat in your area, not ideal, you probably won't be able to get away with this. Now, what else you could do is you could try trap cropping. So simply, all this means is planting a bunch of radish seeds in one area, literally a little pile of them, germinating them, and then allowing the flea beetles to go to this little oasis of food that they enjoy, and then either applying a pesticide, or my personal favorite, a tiger torch. Essentially burning the trap crop along with the bug. I highly advise this if you have a continual issue with flea beetles, meaning they're probably in your soil. Killing off those adults so that they're unable to lay eggs is really truly important. And using a trap crop method where you just make several trap crops over time will give you really good results and long term is going to pay off for you. But that's all I got for flea beetles. Wish my poor broccoli plants and select few radishes that made it through the best of luck this summer because I don't think it's going to turn out good. <laughs> I'll talk to you next time. Bye.